tonight on Gonzaga Prep, World of Discovery, The Mysteries of Biblical Creation. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless wasteland, and darkness covered the abyss, while a mighty wind swept over the waters. God may have started things off with a big bang, but Genesis is a moral tale of our relationship to God. One way that early people kept history was through telling stories in an oral tradition. These stories may not have always been 100% accurate, but they conveyed an important message to the people. In this case, the book of Genesis uses the story of creation to convey several religious truths based on the faith of the Hebrew people. But it's not a literal description of the events of creation. It is a symbolic and figurative way that tied the story to the listener. The book, Taken Together, tells the story of God being almighty. How he chooses to interact with man, man's need for God, man's weakness, and need for salvation by God. It also gives meaning behind God's choice of a special people to be the instrument of his plan of salvation, the existence of sin and death, and begins the foundation of the rest of the teachings of the Hebrew and Christian tradition. The stories may not be literal accounts of the first people, but they do set the stage for religious belief that man is connected to God. The Garden of Eden is perfection, and man rejects it. Man cannot stay away from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Man must rest because God rested when he created the earth to reflect on his work. Take, for instance, the perfection described in Genesis chapter 2, 8-15 to in the Garden of Eden. The world was fundamentally good, and humankind was charged with caring for it until man's choice. In this case, figuratively, through eating an apple, to become aware of a separation from God. This distance from God's will is sin. Genesis chapter 3 describes the fruit as pleasing to the eye and desirable for gaining wisdom. That's not real fruit. It is man's desire to be self-centered and to sin, unless focused on his relationship with God. And that relationship with God, man being offered goodness from God, man deciding to sin and be less than intended, and God punishing repeats through the rest of the book of Genesis. Cain and Abel, Noah, Abraham, Jacob and Joseph, all stories of offer, rejection, but most importantly, redemption. That we will be welcomed back to the kingdom of God if we repent. Forgiveness and moving on is a critical component of the stories, not by our power, but the forgiveness and grace of God. It is in that spirit that Genesis should be read, a figurative and symbolic set of stories that show man being offered perfection, sinning and rejecting God, followed by repentance and God's reception. Thank you, and I hope this inspires you to read further.